Hello, I'm Dr. Robert LaBelle. Today we're going to go through ball release with Ariana. We typically show ball release to augment the soft tissue work we do in practice and there's two associated tendons that I'm most concerned about with you learning today. One is the supraspinatus, if you put your hand in the small of your back. The supraspinatus is uncovered right at the attachment to the bone here. This is typically where it develops a tendonitis and this is where we want to do some ball therapy. Its sister tendon, the infraspinatus, bring your arm out and across your body, is back here. There's a very tender spot right at the attachment of the bone in there and this is the two areas that you're going to want to try and target with the ball release therapy. So let's go through the supraspinatus first. Let's have you go into the corner, Ariana. Put the ball against the wall. So what we're looking at here is we want to use the bone on the top of our shoulder, it's called the acromion, as your reference point. And the ball will actually sit right down from that. We don't want to be too far in on the front of the shoulder because then we're going to end up hitting the bicep tendon and that's not the tissue we want to work. If you bend down a bit, Ariana, if you come down at an angle you'll be able to come right off that bone and this is where we want to rub. You're going to spend about three to five minutes, two to three times a week, cross fiber frictioning massage that muscle. You can go up and down as Ariana is showing. She's doing it slowly and in a controlled manner. As well you can go side to side. And the key is getting directly on what is an inflamed tissue, so a sore tissue, and slowly working it. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to be rolling vigorously all over the place. I want a slow controlled method and that looks wonderful. You do not want to be causing too much pain here. You just want to be releasing right into the level of discomfort. That looks good. If we go through the second exercise, just turn your body here, bring your arm up. You have to bring your arm so it's parallel to the ground and across your body. And if we bring this ball forward just a bit, right into there, support your elbow and with your hand. What you're going to do is you're going to turn your body in and you're going to just slowly release through here. If, as the tendonitis, the infraspinatus tendon is getting better, you can take a bit of a step away from the wall, Ariana, and then lean more body weight in and release through those areas. Once again, I want you to do this three to five minutes, two to three times a week, and only do it to discomfort. The third exercise that we're going to go over, I'll grab the ball from you, is a release of the entire fascia of the side of the body leading into the back side of the rotator cuff. Ariana is using a bigger rubber ball and what she's doing is she's starting with the ball attached up in, into here and this exercise is done really slowly. This is what we call a ball fascial release. She's starting with the big ball up and underneath the infraspinatus, it's right near the armpit but back. And what she's going to do is take three to five deep breaths and each breath I want her to relax deep into the ball. This, ex this exercise will be mildly uncomfortable. And what we do is, say she's taken three to five deep breaths, she'll move slightly her body forward like this. And what we're really looking for is what we call a fascial release. We're looking for the skin to pull which is ultimately releasing the tendon. That looks good. She's doing this a bit quicker for demonstration purposes and that's fine. However, when we're doing the exercise at home, I want, we to, I want you to be taking three to five deep breaths and after each breath you relax into the tissue. And then after five breaths, then you move slightly to the next level. These three exercises are aimed at releasing the shoulder. With a complementary program in office where we release it with active release and grasp, and you'll have the best results at freeing up any of the adhesions in your shoulder and returning your shoulder back to normal range of motion.